We're keeping a close eye on Hurricane Burl, and you can see the outer bands are already hitting Jamaica, and it is closing its sights on Jamaica as we speak. So watching this really carefully, expecting an update momentarily, but it has been sustained at 145 mile an hour winds, category four hurricane, and the National Hurricane Center map has shifted it just a little bit south, but I wanted to show you this model, which shows the eye kind of grazing southern Jamaica, and this is just in a few hours at two o'clock this afternoon. So watching this very closely as this powerful hurricane moves through and then we continue to watch that push out as we look at the spaghetti plot models and we take it out a little bit farther. We can see by Sunday into Monday early next week we have some models steering it back up towards Texas. We'll see exactly where that hits. That one is a long ways out, but something we're obviously keeping a close eye on. We're just hours away uh, from that eye getting awfully close to Jamaica, Nydia. All right, thank you, Karen. We want to take another live radar look at Hurricane Barrow as the massive storm roars toward Jamaica. The country's airports are shut down as residents rush to prepare for what could be the most powerful storm ever to make landfall on the island. Barrel is now a Category 4 storm, packing winds of 145 miles per hour. It was a Category 5 as it pummeled islands in the southeastern Caribbean, the strongest ever recorded in the Atlantic in July. The storm is being blamed for at least six deaths. And Hurricane Barrel reached unprecedented early season strength so quickly that people had little time to make evacuation plans. And that includes the Simon family from Bloomfield, New Jersey, who spent six luxurious days in Montego Bay, Jamaica. Their picturesque tropical getaway quickly turned into a scramble to get out. But their flight home has been canceled, forcing them to ride out the storm at their resort. When you hear that, that it's a category five and it could be coming our way but uh, like i told you there's no sign of it now so when it gets here we'll be ready jamaica has closed all of its airports ahead of the storm and even after the storm passes it's unclear how long it could take to get flights moving again